What's up guys, Bill is back again. Welcome to my channel. So more and more 3D printer companies are jumping into laser engraver in these days because it's quite easy to operate and it doesn't have much learning curve to get on your hand. And plus the price for engraver is getting lower and lower due to the strong competition on these days. So for today's review, uh, I would like to test that longer just launch their first engraver, which is Ray 5 on their product line. So since I don't play too much laser engraver before, so for this video, I would like to review as a regular customer who doesn't have strong technical background and who doesn't have much experience in laser engraver as a beginner. So before we move to the next stage, Feel free to like my video and subscribe and hit the bell to get a notification from us. So without much talk, let's just go. So now let's just take everything one by one and it looks like everything is packed in very well. Now we got a safety glass to protect your eyes and a menu user guide to show you how to assemble this machine step by step. And the toolkit that including screw, play wood and cables, something like that. Control box to control the machine and the support feet. XXC frame and coming next is real and the right frame. Synchronous shaft and laser module and the stepper motors. And finally is power supply with cables. So that's the everything when they got from the package. So right now let's just start to assemble. So overall, it took me around 45 minutes to assemble this machine and um, I mean, they got a user guide and they got a tutorial video at their official YouTube. So it's not, not that difficult to assemble this machine, even if you are a beginner. Obviously, Re5 is a bigger engraver machine. It has 410 times 410 mm meter and the output power maximum is 5.5 watt and the optimal focus is 0.08 times 0.08 millimeter, which is good enough for entry levels. So if you check the laser model, uh, it has an acrylic cover to protect your eyes and then they also prepare one eye glass to protect your eyes. So always remember if you want to laser something or if you want to, if you want to start to playing with this machine and take this on yeah oh looks like I am I looks like a gangster oh. so always remember you have to modify the distance between laser model and the object you want to engrave Wait, let me just show you so after you unscrew now the models can be adjustment. The metal sheet just hit the 
metal cylinders. So with the Re5, you can just put your file on the SD card in here, or you can connect this machine to computer if you want, and it's compatible with free open source file like um, Laser GBRL. It supports different image file format such as JPG, BMG, PNG, something like that. The safety for this machine is doing a very good job. So they have emergency stop button to shut down the machine forcefully when you meet some unexpected situation and then the formal protection is unable. So the machine will shut down automatically when it detects a frame or engraving temperature. So I can say it's a safe machine to leave on your house and of course you always need to remember your working space is well ventilated uh, because it will cause some kind of uh, um, smoke during engravings. So the Re5 is built with 32-bit chipset with Wi-Fi connection function so compared to 8-bit it's faster and it's stronger. Now let's just check the function on this machine and uh, it's time to switch on. It comes with 3.5 um, inch touch screen and the user interface is quite simple and easy to understand so you won't get any confused from these um, menus. So once you switch on the machine then you will see the screen which has um, four options and let me just try it one by one. So for first one, if I try adjustment, you will see 50% and 5% of laser. So let's just try it. Then you will be start to in the laser engraver will be start to working. And if I just press 5%, okay, the light will be on. Then just press off, and the laser will be off. So just check. You see that? So this is the um the the one point we I just laser I just engraved a couple minutes ago. And let's just try next control. So basically it's easy to understand and um, it's for you can move x x y x y x so and it has unlock a home and position and hard home. So and you can just add adjustment and you can modify the distance every time you move. So basically I just I just set up at 10 millimeters and high speed, low speed and middle speed. Just just set it as a high speed. And for the next which is sculpture. So it's like uh, you can start to print. So uh, it has three default file on this SD card. And it's frame and position and curve. So, so if you press frame, then the machine will start go through the range. It will be engraved. So it just let me let you know where it will will this machine will start to grave and so you can adjust your um, pr placement of the board and position just set this point at the start point and cut after you so after you press the cup then the machine it will start to cut so easy to understand Let, let's just try the next one tools so uh, for this part is the kind of information and basically it's the main board is MKS and firmware version and CPU and Wi-Fi but I, I, I never use this one because usually I just um, slice the file everything I need and or just connect the laptop directly with the cables. So right now we have sample everything and we have tested everything the basic function of the Control box, let's just start to engrave something. When I cut with the wood plate, I did not find any problems. 
One thing to load net is when you decide to use wooden materials for cutting, make sure to turn down the power since the burning point of the wood is relatively low. Otherwise, it may damage your tables. At the same time, I also test several other materials, such as 3D printed lips by PLA, ceramic dish, and metal kitchen knife. So according to the major result, the PLA can be engraved normally. The metal is quite difficult. You need to set up the engraving speed to a very low level and set the power to the highest level to be able to engrave on some thinner metals. And for ceramic, it's almost impossible to engrave because the melt point of ceramic is Everything too I high. Engrave from this machine, let's just check it. We got um, one, some cartoon from One Piece and Dragon Ball, Gohan, Goku, and this, as another Goku, and this, uh, this two file is on the SD card. And I also engrave a small logo on my notebook. Can you see that? So overall, this machine is quite user-friendly, even if you are beginner in engraving areas. And I checked the, the official website and the price is, is 399 to get shipped, so which is not too bad deals. The average, and I put the link on the, my description box. So if you want to start your engraving journey, I could say this machine is one of the good choice to let you learn about that. So that's it for today's video. If you like my video, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell to get a notification whenever I upload a video. So see you next time.